This year's musical, a comical whodunit musical called Curtains, has come to a close. The musical is a send-up of backstage murder mystery plots set in 1959 Boston, Massachusetts and follows the fallout when Jessica Cranshaw, the supremely untalented star of the Robin Hood of the Old West, is murdered during her opening night curtain call. It is up to Lieutenant Frank Chaffee, a police detective who moonlights as a musical theater fan to save the show solve the case, and maybe even find love before the show reopens without getting himself killed. To find out more, I interviewed members of the cast and crew to hear about how they felt about the show and what went on behind the scenes. I think the musical went pretty well this year. We had a great cast full of 15 seniors, and we all just came together. We spent long nights together and really ironed out the musical to get to what it was. The cast practiced for numerous hours, starting in September after Labor Day and ending at their first performance, November 11th. Though there were several challenges along the way, all the cast members and directors say that the musical turned out to be a success. I think it was very successful. There was a lot of details we had to work out, and I think paying attention to as many as we could, the students were very, very adept in being flexible with those details, and sometimes things would change and they changed right with it, and it came out to be a really fun, enjoyable, great storytelling product. It went well. There was a lot of times where everyone was really concerned about dancing. There was a lot of dancing involved. That's more than we've done in the past, so everyone was kind of nervous about that, but I think it went well. The leads talked about how they portrayed their characters and what their characters' personalities and goals were. I played Georgia Hendricks in the musical Curtains. In a way, Oscar is sort of like me. He's just a smart money person, and he doesn't like being shot down or talked over. My name is Brenna Burnett. I'm a senior, and I am one of the stage managers with the musical. I'm a senior, and I played Nikki Harris. When the seniors were asked what their advice would be for the future musical actors, they all had the same answer. Just try it. The advice that I'd give people would, if they want to do it, I say go for it because it gets you out of your comfort zone and you, you're playing a different role. I get to be a part of creating something, but I also don't have to be the face of it. Um, with actors and such, they really put themselves out there. Um, my advice would be to just try it. And it's only for a part of the year. It's not like a permanent thing. So you have a kind of like a trial your first year and you, you see if you like it and you never know. Like you might just discover like a passion that you love and it's, it's a lot of fun to be a part of and you make some really awesome friends. Um, I think my advice that I would give to people that want to be musical theater is try it. And if you don't like it, then it's not for you. But if you want to know if you like it or not, you have to try it. It's like with any other sport. If you don't try it, who knows if you like it or not. Anything else you would like to add? Um, just for people who are still in the musical, keep doing it. Um, musical has been my life since I was seven. I did the children's musicals in high school, and it's a fun place where you get to be a whole different person. Overall, the musical was a satisfying end to the 15 seniors who were involved in the high school musical. For BBN News, I'm Annie Talbert.